Hey guys, it's 2017, January is already over and I want to talk about the last month. Like I said in my last monthly list video, I will change my monthly list videos like this a bit so instead of doing 10 questions I'm doing 5 different categories and I will try to pick one thing of all these categories to tell you about which was something special which happened during the last month and yeah so let's start with the first category which is update and announcements and yeah so my first announcement is that these videos will change but they will be monthly so this video will be about January and the next video about February and so on and I will hope that they will work out and yeah so yeah but these updates or announcements won't be only for my YouTube channel it will be also updates and announcements for my life and my current life situation which will really change a lot in 2017 <laughs> so the next category is special activities so any special activities I did on the last month of January and I um, always try to pick one except there are really many things which I really will like tell you about but normally I will try to pick one special activity of the last month and this month it's the time when I went to the wedding fair with my fiance and some friends and it was really funny. I've been to another wedding fair a few months ago but this wedding fair was really a lot more helpful because it was bigger and it was more of the area where I am from because it was the wedding fair Traudig which is directly in Stuttgart at the Liederhalle. Of course we did have many things before we did, went where like the location we did have our location at December but there are many different stuff which we were trying to figure out like the invitation cards and so on it was really helpful and yeah and also it's a really nice experience <laughs> and yeah it's really funny to go on wedding fairs if you have to <laughs> say that it can be stressful but yeah it was a lot of fun there was a funny thing to try out um, it was a special smart box of the event company escape room so maybe you know this thing where you get locked in a room with some friends and you have to figure out how to leave the room in an hour and they did something special for weddings too they have a box where you have to try to solve all the riddles to win something and this is something which you can have for your wedding for the times your guests don't have anything to do and you are doing photos and you can't entertain your guests this is something like that we won't do that for our wedding but it was really funny to try out because it was really hard to solve but we did it in the end and yeah this was a nice thing also which I always like is to try out the photo booths and yeah there are many of these things and yeah it's really nice and to see all the decoration stuff and to get some ideas so yeah yeah I can show you uh, this is the large bag I got from the wedding fair so there are lots of things in it and yeah maybe we'll see what things we can use and what not. So my camera died again so yeah let's move on to the next category which is category 3 and this category is similar to the which was the favorite thing I bought the last month. It's my favorite item of the last month so it's either something I bought or something I get as a present and yeah I will try to pick one special item which I will present to which I would recommend to if you interested in it this is I think the most similar thing to the other question and in January I found something really by surprise it's this it's a collection of photo decoration stuff for your scrapbooks and so on but you can use it for every photo related stuff and I found this surprisingly on DM which is a German drugstore. I knew they had photo things. You can also let develop your photos at the DM shop. But I didn't know they had this photo collection stuff. And this, they have many different themes. This is the travel theme. I thought to try it. I would buy the travel theme because the most scrapbooks I do are about traveling. And it contains cards. So it's a bit like the Project Life, if you know Project Life system. It has some cards which you could do use, it has stickers, it has smaller cards, 
so it has three different sizes of cards and the last thing which I really find so great that they had it are five overlays so I don't know if you know what it is but um, overlays you can use to do on your photos so you overlay them on the photo and it gives a really special effect and yeah so really great thing and it was so cheap really it didn't even cost 10 euros you will find a link down below um, I won't open the package because I did try to open it and then everything was totally messy and it was really hard to get it all together in the package again so um, yeah uh, but in the back you will you see a bit of the things which it contains and it's really a lot and I hope it's okay and yeah I think DM is in some other countries too so if you have a DM store next by you in Germany it would surprise you if it hadn't any DM store next to you just go to your DM store and look for them there are so many different themes like love baby and so on so yeah just if you're interested go search for the things So the fourth category and this category is dedicated to multimedia so you know in my questions I had lots of questions dedicated to media but I am trying to summarize all of it in one category so I would try to pick one special thing of the last month uh, in the category best thing of the month which is, is a multimedia thing so I will either choose a special movie I saw um, or uh, special game I played or a special TV show I've seen so I was always a bit sad that I couldn't mention TV shows I'm watching in the questions because there wasn't a question the only thing I could mention it was the obsessions but I didn't even mention everything I saw because TV shows take a lot of time I only mention TV shows if they binge watch them and some of them I only watch regularly or weekly or so on and so this time I choose movies because I've went to the cinema three times. Yes, I've seen Assassin's Creed as I wanted to, I saw Love and Friendship as I wanted to and I saw a German movie which was really great. It was called Mein Blind Date mit dem Leben which means something my blind date with the life and I will tell you something about Love and Friendship and the German movie because if I only picked the German movies mostly German people would have something from it so yeah this is why I picked both movies and yeah first to love and friendship it's a movie after a novel of Jane Austen it's a small novel it's a short book this novel is written in uh, letters so it's a, it's called letter novel something like that it's, at least in Germany <laughs> It's called Brief Roman and I think it's something like it would translate to letter novel. So yeah. And I really like Jane Austen movies and I really like the Jane Austen books. I didn't read the book for the movie. The book is called Lady Susan, so it's different than the movie title and I didn't read it but I went to the cinema and this movie was so great. If it would have been shown in the last year, it would have been the best movie of the year. But yeah, because last year there are, were, weren't many good movies. And yeah, it was so funny and so surprisingly good. <laughs> I, the whole cinema laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and it didn't stop laughing. And yeah, if you liked Jane Austen movies, I would definitely recommend to watch it. And the acting was so good and the story is really so strange but also so good. <laughs> Just give it a try if you're into Jane Austen movies. And I really like one of the main actors, which is Saver Samuel. I like him since I saw him as Riley in Eclipse. He has a really small part in the movie, but um, I found he was so great. And I already like the character of Riley in the books. I'm, yeah, I, I've, I'm sometimes really like those small characters who just most people wouldn't even give an thought about so yeah and um, since then I'm tried to watch all of his movies because I, I really like his acting and yeah he's also really handsome <laughs> and yeah he was so great in the movie too so um, yeah if you like Save Samuel you should watch Love and Friendship 
Uh, yeah, but let's move to the other movie, My Blind Date with the Leben, My Blind Date with Life. I didn't even know that it existed, but I saw the trailer for it at Facebook because I also like the main actor, which is Kostya Ullmann, a German actor. And yes, I saw it at his Facebook page and I thought, wow, I didn't know you did a new movie. So yeah, I saw the movie and it was really great. Which is so special about the movie, it's a real story, so it's based on real events. And it's about this young man who wants to work on a hotel since he is little, but then something really sad happens. He loses his eyesight, so he's getting blind. He isn't total blind, but he only sees 5% of what you see, so um, yeah, uh, and it's really sad for him, but he managed to get his life together, although he managed to do the abitur, although he did, he can't write or see something because, um, yeah, how would you write if you don't see anything, and how could you read if you don't see anything? And yeah, it's really special how he dis did this, because he memorized it all, he tries to memorize everything and so everything you could relate to your eye side, he memorizes, he memorizes how many steps he has to take before he turns into the other street and so on. Then he applies to work for many different hotels, but none of them accept him because of his blindness, because he's so disappointed and frustrated he just thinks what if I don't tell them I'm blind because you don't see it he has his eye for 16 years or something like that so he he seems to be like a normal person but only if you are closer to him you see that he has problem with his eye with his eyes so yeah so he applies to work in a hotel in Munich and he gets the job because he didn't mention he's blind and yeah and it's so it's about how he tries to work in the hotel and it's also really funny but also has a more deep story and yeah if you're German you should watch the movie if you're not German I don't think it's available for you maybe it isn't for some countries there are some some documentaries at YouTube so maybe some of them is in English or so on so yeah if you if you're interested in one of those movies, I will leave some links down below and yeah, let's move on to the next category. The next category is reading, so because I don't read every time, I thought I am either should show you books I re read the last month or some special books I really like as a great recommendation which fits into the month for you to read. So yeah, but the last month I did start reading a book. I only read it occasionally because it's not a novel or something like that. It's this book. It's a German book and it's called Wer ja sagt darf auch Tante Inge ausladen, which is, means something like Who says I do? May uninvited Aunt Inge. So it's about what you have to expect at weddings and some tips how to avoid some problems at weddings and so on. I didn't read it in a whole but I read some interesting pages about some topics which I wanted some advice for. The main theme of the book is that you should always think if when you do your wedding that it's your wedding. It's not the wedding of your family, your parents, your friends. So you should decide what you should, should want on a wedding because many people think they should invite people because they have to because they're a family but if you didn't see them for years if you don't have any connection to the person if it's just an uncle of the uncle of your father you don't have to invite him and that's what's the book about you should all the decisions you should make you should think about what do you want do you want this just because your parents expected from you or is it because you want this so yeah I think it's really helpful I don't know if it exists in other languages but it's really funny too because they're really 
some nice stories in it. The author is a DJ at weddings, so he tells about his experiences and yeah. And if you're German, you should read it. And yeah, I will look if there's an English version for you to check out. But yeah, just really a good book. So um, yeah, the categories are over, and so we're on the end of the video. Just I want to know your opinions, what you think of my new list videos, if you think they are better, if you think you should try to do the old thing. Yeah, it would be nice to have some opinions about it and yeah, so thanks for watching and goodbye!